There was a time in some parts of America when white children went to white holy schools and black children went to black holy schools. This is Ruby Bridges, aged six years old. She was an African American girl living in America in 1960. She couldn't understand why she had to walk miles to the black school when there was a white school so close to her house. Her mother couldn't understand either, nor could the American government. They decided Ruby should start going to the white school. Ruby was escorted by guards to and from school for her own safety. Every day she was greeted by an angry crowd holding signs. They tried to stop her going to the white school. They threw things like tomatoes at her. They called her horrible names. They told her she wasn't welcome. However, she found the power of prayer and positive attitude to help her. Every day she marched to school like a little soldier. The only teacher who would teach Ruby was Mrs Henry. All the children were withdrawn from school and the other teachers decided to leave. Ruby and Mrs Henry were the only ones left. For one whole year, Ruby was the only child in school and Miss Henry taught her every day. The next year, children started to come back to school, white and black. They all learned and played together happily and nobody cared whether they were black or white anymore. Now Ruby Bridges is 62 years old. She visits schools all over the world, telling children her story. It makes her so happy to see children of all colours playing and learning together. Norman Rockwell painted a picture of Ruby on her way to the white school called The Problem We All Live With. It was bought by President Obama and now hangs in the White House. One day, President Obama invited Ruby to visit him and see the painting. It was the proudest day of her life. Ruby says children should be kind to each other. She says that strength has no size or age barrier. She was six years old when she helped to change the world. What could you do? To be a public author makes me feel overjoyed and proud of myself because I've never accomplished anything like that before. It shows everyone that you have a good mind. It feels so good because I might be famous. It makes me feel proud because I've read lots of books and none of them have really had pu been published by children in schools. It's given the world another good book to read. Being an author makes me feel flabbergasted because, because, some, because some people try to publish books and some people don't accomplish and I can't believe I did. I feel proud so people can be inspired by me. I'm a little bit scared because people will be judging my work but I know that we did a good job. I love it because I want other people to read it and enjoy it. I like being an author because I learn more about the world. It is, it's so, so nice because people can put me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and all them stuff. The children of St. Matthias would like to give this book to you. <laughs> Springfield. St. John and St. James. De Beauvoir. Gainsborough. St. John the Baptist, Morningside. Holy Trinity.